So this one's not going to be long, it's just some food for thought. There's a fairly popular misconception out there. I think maybe, I'm speculating, that it comes from some New Age belief or mindset that you'll hear in various groups or communities of, of thought that the opposite of love is fear, and that is completely and wholly false. It's untrue. It's not correct. And for me, I struggle to understand how a rational, critically thinking human being could believe that. Because we're all capable. We're, we're all capable, unless there's something like broken inside. We're all capable of logic. And I don't think it requires exposure to, you know, alchemy and hermeticism and other occult things to be exposed to the concept of polarities. Polarities. Uh, combine that with the dualistic aspects of our reality. And when you draw a line in this context to consider the opposites, you have one side of the polarity, for instance, love and hate. It's an emotion. And on one side of the spectrum is love. The other side of the spectrum is hate. Somewhere in the middle could be indifference, or somewhere in there could be indifference. There are emotions on that linear spectrum that from one side you would call that love, and the other side you would call that hate. The same thing with black and white. On one end you got black, on the other end you got white. Somewhere in the middle you're going to find shades of gray. Hot versus cold. Somewhere in the middle you're going to find lukewarm. Fear versus courage. On one side of the spectrum you're a cowering little sissy, whatever. <laughs> on the other side you're a courageous, you know, um, hero or something. Or just plainly, fear versus courage. With the obviousness of what it is that I just said, sometimes I struggle to understand how people that I, I know, know more, uh, are very smart, have this unbelief. The opposite of love is fear in this spiritual thing. And they get, I, I, I don't get it. It breaks my brain because I'm not a rocket scientist. I, I'm not a PhD. I'm not anything but a meat sack stuck in this fucking world trying to figure things out. And as I listen to people, for whatever reason that I do, I have heard this concept of the opposite of love being fear repeated countless times. Hell, I've even heard Mark Passio say this, and he's convinced how much he knows and how correct he is on everything. And I'm just like, hello, McFly? How do you not understand the polarity spectrum of, for instance, the polarity of the emotion, <laughs> love and hate, you know, you're not going to get love on one side, fear on the other, and somewhere in the middle is hate. It doesn't work like that. The opposite of love is hate. The opposite of courage is fear or cowardice. Or you could say fear versus boldness and courage versus cowardice or cowardliness. But there are opposite polarities to each one of them, and, each, and these are independent of themselves. Love and hate is independent of fear and courage or or courage and cowardice and fear and boldness you see what i'm saying they're they're independent things and the reason i say this the way that i do is because th this is so brutally obvious it's not even funny it's as obvious as the nose on your face i don't understand how people live under so many delusions that they're smart enough to be able to just have a few thoughts about it and break through just a few thoughts and all of this is born out of the hermetic principle of polarity and i do not for the life of me understand how it could have ever been put together in anyone's head that the opposite polarity of love is fear. They are independent of each other. Never the twain shall meet kind of thing. Maybe you could be said the opposite of love is indifference and hate is somewhere in the middle or two-thirds of the way over towards indifference. But you see what I'm suggesting here with the opposites of the, the opposite of the polarity. You know, hot, cold, white, black, love, hate, you know, courage versus cowardliness, uh, um, boldness versus fear, or whatever would be the appropriate word. But on the opposite side of fear is not love. It's courage or boldness or something to that effect. Do you see how they're independent of each other? They're like a whole bunch of lines of polarity in the experience of being human. Some tie into emotion, some tie into other aspects of our state of being. Because for me to be courageous doesn't necessarily mean I'm experiencing an emotion that ties to love or hate or any of that courageousness and, and boldness, they, they are their own things. But you could say that somebody that was bold was courageous or somebody that was courageous was bold. But how do you, t how do you tie love or hate into that? Because that's not the opposite of those things when you consider it from a polarity perspective. And if people can be deceived or simply believe incorrectly, relevant to things that all you have to do is actually think about it a little bit beyond the surface level, and all of a sudden it starts to be like, oh, wow, wait a minute. 
That is correct. How many things that we believe in our belief system, our entirety of our paradigm, are things like this false belief of love is the opposite of fear, or fear being the opposite of love? And it's only because we chose to believe it that it's sitting there in our paradigm and never actually analyzed it beyond the first millimeter of the surface to realize that just below there, the obviousness of the truth has been right there all along. I mean, it's obvious that the opposite of happiness and joy is sadness and despair. Now, there could be other words that somebody could use for sadness and despair, a little bit more sophisticated words that still mean the same thing. You know, it's not a tit for tat over the word because we can use certain words to describe uh, something. But when you consider it from the perspective of the polarity, define each end the way you want. How are you going to put fear at the opposite end of love? How are you going to put, where, where, where does that leave room for hate? At the opposite end of hate, courage? I mean, seriously, this is broken logic. It was little subtle things that I heard from, for instance, Mark Pascio, where I started to question, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then the Pandora's box came off when I recognized that there was those that shall not be named that he didn't talk about. And then this whole concept of the laws of the universe and how they work relevant to um, morality and stuff like that, uh, it all combined. And I was like, wait a second. But one of the first things that made me start to be like, what? With him and all of the stuff that I, any of you that know know what I think about him. It's because like when I heard this guy pushing this, and I'm like, wait a minute. You of all people, I would think, would know better. So I wonder why this concept of fear versus love, love the opposite of fear versus love, I, I don't even understand why it's pushed. It, it does something to apparently delude the human, and it's going to be one of those bricks in your foundation, if you will, that's going to be wrong. How many of those bricks are wrong in our foundations of what we believe and why we believe it? I suppose that at some point everybody's, the, the brick that I'm referring to like in the wall of our beliefs, that's an interesting analogy, but at some point we start to have an experience in life where it turns out all of those bricks that, for instance, the, the, the brick of belief that formed the wall of our paradigm that said love and is the opposite of fear, fear is the opposite of love, that was, that was wrong, it wasn't really a real brick. You get enough of those in there at some point, that wall is going to collapse because it's not built structurally sound. Now, this isn't to imply that there's opposites for everything. But there are opposites to, for instance, components of life, a lot of that non-physical stuff, because there's not an opposite to a car. The opposite of a car is not a truck, because they're both means of transportation, you know, the same as a horse. I mean, what, what could you really say is the opposite of, of, a, of a tree, or the opposite of a not tree? <laughs> What's the opposite of a car? And I'm only saying that to say that this polarity thing isn't necessarily applicable to there's an opposite of everything, you know, but there are opposites for things like emotion, things like thinking feeling and the various ways that we compartmentalize each one of those things to the point where you think of an emotion love and, and hate and all the emotional um carnival show or wonders that we could experience in the middle of each end of that polarity anyway just a little butt nugget of logic and if you think or know that i'm not correct with this comment section is open um but if it's based off of belief that you haven't analyzed and actually haven't spent any time to uh, invest any time to figure out deeper than surface level. I probably won't agree with you, which is fine, but other people have different perspectives and relevant to what it is I'm putting forth here specifically about love and fear and this thing where love versus is the opposite of fear when it's actually love and hate and fear and courage or, you know, fear and boldness or whatever word you want to put in there. Um, does anybody that hears me find any <laughs> flaws in what I'm saying, or is there a flaw in the belief that the opposite of love is uh, fear? See, I think that I'm correct. I think logic dictates that that is true. Anyway, take it easy, people.